Okay, we make a, a polygon cube and we set the subdivision for u and v and uh, on all x's to uh, 24 and we scale uh, up the cube and set the from wireframe to shaded and we need a lot of, uh, of uh, detail uh, to, to deform uh, to model the shape and then we hit of course uh, control D to duplicate and drag it over and select proportional modeling because then we can go hit the M key and uh, make and hit if you press down the R key you can uh, make the selection area bigger that you want to affect and then you just uh, shape uh, the cube and the points by by dragging and um, pushing. We will now let this uh, shape blend in to the left cube. And uh, and uh, when when the we're gonna make the animation, we just select the cube that we have shaped and hit the key. Uh, H to hide it, uh, so we, we we want we don't tend to have it in view. I now just have to shape uh, this cube so we can uh, see the effect to the extreme. <laughs> And then we hit spacebar to get to the top level, and then we select the the cube, the left cube, and go to the animate panel, and go to deform shape, select shape key, and then we select the deform cube, and afterwards right click on an empty space, and then uh, we select uh, the one we have shaped and hit H. To hide it and then we go select the cube and go to shape manager and then we go to this pan that it's animate and by dragging this slider you can uh, 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 tween between those two shapes and then we will make an animation that would make, look, make it look like this uh, pillar is uh, alive and breathing. You hit that tick uh, beside the slider to put down keyframe and then you just move the slider uh, down here below to uh, sit it down to zero again and hit uh, a new keyframe. And then to see the animation, we hit the uh, re uh, loop and play it. And here you can see the pillar look like it's uh, organic and alive and breathe. Scary.